Hey, this is Coach Adam Cobb, creator of the FYC Method. And I'm starting a two-part series on eat fat to lose fat. Do you have the fat phobia? <laughs> Media over time has created stories, really brainwashed us into thinking really what fat does to you. So let me ask you, have you ever bought anything that said low fat or no fat? Raise your hand. Everybody, raise your hand. If I'm the only one with a hands up, there's a problem. I know you have, and 100% of you have out there as well. Unfortunately, the words low fat and no fat mean artificial flavors, added sweeteners, and a bunch of other no good things. <laughs> These wreak havoc on your intestinal system. They add toxic overload to you and they really create massive amounts of fatigue. I love busting myths. So here's a myth. So many people think you have to go on a low fat diet to be able to lose weight. First of all, if you could switch your low fats and no fat foods to just regular fats and eat less of them, that would be goal number one. However, let's take it to the next level. You know how I like to do it. Good fats will eliminate bad fats in your body. This week's tweetable, eat good fat to lose bad fat. Good fats are omegas. Good fats have valuable health benefits. They positively benefit heart health and cholesterol levels. They promote healthy cognitive function. They build muscle faster. They curb your appetite. They absorb certain nutrients and antioxidants in a better way. And they prevent nutrient loss when cooking. This week's challenge to you is instead of substituting low fats and no fats, have a regular serving of regular fat foods. I challenge you even a bit further to know which ones are the good fats and add those in, of course with moderation, into your nutrition plan. Again, I said I love to be a myth buster. Let me crush a couple quick ones. Myth. All fats are created equal and equally bad for you. Fact. Trans fats are bad for you because they raise your cholesterol and increase your risk of heart disease. But good fats, which is part of your homework, finding out what those are, are good for you, lowering cholesterol and reducing your risk of heart disease. Next week, I'm gonna go a little bit deeper. I'm gonna share with you what these good fats are. Until then, do your homework. Invest in finding out what are those good fats. I'll tell you that they taste really good. And uh, I can't wait to hear and just kind of see those comments from you on the bottom, hearing what your idea of a good fat is. Remember, moderation and take out the bad fats. I'll see you next week.